Welcome to a second update today in the wonderful world of crypto where everything goes up and down within 20% range within 15 minutes. That's today. If you're new to crypto, then this is not unusual. You will see this happening on and on. And that's why we're still in a very wild, wild west and crypto is still just in very premature uh, stages at this point. But we're going to discuss the markets and what should you do when such an event takes place. But before that, do not forget to subscribe beneath and like the YouTube update. And also do not forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram where you can find daily content. And also I do have my own educational platform and the courses are going to happen quite soon. Do not forget to check out the website in the description beneath where you can become a member and follow my trades, but also get yourself educated if you want to become a profitable trader. So when we are getting to the news at this point, there are several news items today. First, we had Michael Sater. He has some bigger cojones and decided to buy some more Bitcoin. And just a few minutes after we've got news with news with Litecoin partnering with Walmart out of the blue. And that was a press release that got out by Globe's Newswire, um, which in the end seemed to be fake. So big sites like CNBC itself, but also Reuters and some other websites were already sharing the news item causing a big reaction on the markets as the market started to accelerate quite fast. Litecoin rallied up by more than 20% from $174 to like $235. Bitcoin already broke back up towards 46 k which was in line with the actual price action at that point, given the fact that we had that bullish divergence um, resulting in a, a trend reversal. However, the news was fake through which the prices started to tumble back down and then you get some sort of momentum which is heavily panic or panicky in which people are going to use that moment to try to make more of their position or are going to trade out of emotions and when we are getting towards the price action itself it's just back to the level it used to be in the beginning and yes when you get a breakout to the upside um, and it seems to be fake news, the price tumbles back down. However, with the impulse wave going down, it takes out the liquidity on the downside as well as there's more power in the drop, um, resulting in a heavier crash than when it goes in a normal manner. You see it with every drop down. So every drop has a big wick taking liquidity and then it bounces back up. And then the close is also um, relatively high. We've seen it a few weeks or like last week on Tuesday, we've seen it in May. And the same happened today in which we are currently watching Litecoin, which made a nice breakout and came all the way back down. I'm not going to really discuss Litecoin at this point as the price action is a little bit freaky um, caused by some people that maybe wanted to sell their Litecoin position. But if we are going to look at the charts, and if you want to do anything in the current price action at this point, um, I think you have to zoom out as zooming out gives you data on higher time frames and that's always key in the markets and when you're zooming out you can see that the price didn't do too much when you're looking at litecoin for instance when we're looking at bitcoin at this stage we can still see that support is actually holding as support so we've marked this entire green zone as one and we've also stated that we want to get a bullish divergence in that region through which we might be getting a reversal towards 50k and we tried it today but then the news seemed to be fake. So the actual structure still remains there. Um, we've taken out all the liquidity beneath the low as we've dropped all the way back towards 43.3K. We are back up towards 44.3. Preferred would be a, a close above 44K. If we close above 44K, then this entire momentum or like snapshot is done. And usually what you see with such a snapshot is volatility up, volatility down, and then the volatility starts to drain away, and then we're just going sideways. So um, the higher the Bitcoin closes, the more it's just an outlier, and the more likely we're just going to continue with what we were actually expecting with the markets, and that is that we potentially are going to hold support here and continue the range-bound construction. So at this stage, Bitcoin is just holding the critical level of support, 
that is completely fine. Litecoin made a trappy move, causing the entire market to be trappy. But the markets are actually reacting in a very positive way. When we're looking at Bitcoin, the crucial level to hold is still this green zone. If that is lost, I'm going to look at 40k next. Still in between 42, but I think that we're going to look at 42k next. What I'm looking at right now is the fact that we've taken all the liquidity on the downside, meaning that if the markets want to reverse, they've got enough liquidity. So then it's probably going to happen in the coming days. When we're looking at Ether against Bitcoin, for instance, we can see that the price is still acting at support, but it's not crashing. And that is a very important lesson here is that when you're looking at multiple altcoins at this point, and we're going to discuss another one, they are all bouncing back quite swiftly, meaning that the chances of this event to be an outlier is significant at this stage. And even Ethereum against Bitcoin is bouncing back. It's still holding support, which is a fine signal. I'm still looking at 071 as a support level. If that a lot is lost, I'm going to look at 0 0.065 Bitcoin as the next support zone. When we're looking at Ethereum against USDT, we can see that there is not much changed at this point. We were looking for a potential bullish divergence to be ready. And once again, we've created a lower low here. So if we bounce back up, and we are making a higher low, as we discussed in this structure here, it is very likely that we're going to have a breakout to the upside, meaning that we're most likely going to test 35.35. But now, a few altcoins that are showing massive strength. One of them is Atom. And you can see that in this structure, we've had this wick south and bounced back swiftly. So should you be trading during this heavy volatility at all? No, you shouldn't. The markets um, are having an outlier. Your portfolio is having a snapshot one way or the other. You should always stick to higher time frames and rely on that fact. And when we are looking at Atom at this point, it is making a new high since June 2019, since it got listed. And there is a new bull cycle starting up for this one. I've already called Atom as a potential next coin that's going to follow suit with Solana. This one is showing the strength that it needs. It's also copy pasting Algorand and those two are always following the same path. So nice strength here. And you can see that in the daily candle, there's not really any shown or sign of the actual correction taking place. Looking at the UCT pattern, um, I've marked this level at 29, 20, 36 as a very important level for potential buy the dip opportunities. And again, they got hit. And we've also seen that with Cardano last week, they got hit. So if you're looking for a position or if you want to trade during this momentum, I think you want to buy the dip as Bitcoin is holding a critical level of support and altcoins are breaking out left and right. So I think the chances that we're still in a bull market is significant. It was just an outlier. What should you do? Be patient, build your positions and just enjoy your time. I'll be back tomorrow with a new update and don't forget to subscribe beneath and have a great day.